Hey guys, it's me John, and welcome to Nam John TV. Here we talk about fish kipping. Today we're going to be tackling about the most important thing in a fish kipping hobby, and that is your filtration system. So I'm going to show you my setup and the filtration system, what I use for the media. And I'm also going to be discussing about what the filtration system does to your goldfish tank aside from cleaning the water. So let's begin. I hope you enjoy. Yes, yeah, so before we begin, um, let us appreciate how happy these fish are, how active they are, how healthy they are. And one of the factors that contribute to that is the good filtration system. If you have clear and clean water, um, your fish will surely be happy. But clear this doesn't necessarily mean that your water is healthy. If you don't have your good filtration system, if you have your if you don't have the filtration system right, then healthy water might be a little hard to achieve. So today I'm gonna be draining water from the tank because I'm gonna be changing its water and I'm gonna be showing to you um, the filtration media that I use for my overhead sump filter. Yes, I am keeping this tank indoor and as you can see I'm using LED lights and it's beginning to have an algae ground Yes, indoor LED light substitute for the sunlight So again my filtration system is an overhead sump filtration system so there is my um, submersible pump it sucks water and puts it on the first chamber of our filtration system yes it's very dirty already and I'm about to change it and I'm about to clean this filtration system so yes as you can see we have one two three four five chambers of filtration system so the water from the tank goes into the first chamber and the water continues to the second to the third and so on and so forth so here in the first filtration chamber we have some nets and some filter foams here this is the mechanical chamber and it is where our fish poop is um, filtered or trapped then the second um, chamber contains if you can see it contains um, what do you call this um, ceramic rings yes yeah, ceramic rings on the third it contains lava rocks and the fourth one it contains the lava rings and the fifth one doesn't hold much water because it just um, channels the water back to the tank and it contains some of the bacterials that we are using for um, our beneficial bacteria so in the first chamber where our fish poop is trapped or filtered second third and fourth that is where you culture your beneficial bacteria. Yes, I'm going to be talking about, after I change the water of this tank, I'm going to be talking about how it works in your tank, what do you mean by beneficial bacteria, and um, I'm going to be explaining how the nitrogen cycle works in a very simple manner. So right now I'm draining water from the tank using a siphon, and I'm going to be using the tank water to clean our water filter media or biological filter media, I mean mechanical filter media. I do not clean the biological filter media often because um, my beneficial bacteria are there and I don't want to reset the beneficial bacteria to the start and start the whole nitrogen cycle again. So yes, I'm only cleaning the mechanical filtration um, chamber once a week and take a look at that, those are the fish poop trapped in here a uh, week worth of fish poop and yeah so this is what you clean every week you change water twice a week and your fish are good okay I'm gonna be cleaning this right now now take a look at that that is how um dirty the water is without the filtration media imagine that in your tank for a week and that that is how dirty your water gets if you don't have your filtration yes so I have done cleaning the 
the catechol chamber. And as you can see, by the way, I am putting my biological media on a net back because it's easier for me to take these out using the net bag because they're inside the net bag and I won't be getting all the rocks rock by rock whenever I clean the biological media. So we have done cleaning the filter system. Basically we clean the mechanical chamber of the filtration system. Now as I am filling up the water in this tank, we're gonna be talking about the nitrogen cycle. Yeah so when we talk about a filter system in a fish tank we basically talk about the nitrogen cycle. So the nitrogen cycle occurs naturally in our environment. It is when the nitrogen is cycled to the earth, passing through different media like the soil, the plants, and all. And once it comes back to the atmosphere, it's already clean. So basically, we imitate the nitrogen cycle into our tank. And if we talk about scientific terms of the nitrogen cycle, we're going to be talking about the NH4, the NO3, the NO2, the nitrosomonas, the nitrospira, the nitrobacters and all. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the nitrogen cycle in a very simple matter. So yes. So basically, once you put fish in your tank and you start feeding them, they start to produce ammonia. It comes out from their gills and it also um, comes out or it is also a result of the fish poop inside the tank. Ammonia is a very harmful chemical. It is from decaying matters and number one source of that in your fish tank is the fish poop. So this is where your filter system comes into the story. So the function, the basic function of your filtration system is to convert this ammonia into a less harmful chemical. So the filter system converts ammonia into nitrite and into nitrate and nitrate is less harmful to your fish so you would want to have a little bit of nitrate on your tank than a little bit of ammonia in your tank again ammonia is very harmful to your fish so once the poop is trapped and filtered in the mechanical chamber of your tank what happens in a biological chamber is the conversion of your ammonia into nitrite and into nitrate and once it comes back to your tank it is less harmful so nitrate is less harmful but still um, a risk to your fish health so that is why you have your water changed to eliminate the excess nitrate in your tank so ammonia nitrite into nitrate then water change to eliminate all and maintain zero of all the three elements or the three chemicals in your tank so in your tank, you're all, you are just imitating um, nature by providing them the biological media. So it is equivalent to the trees and the plants. And you can also put plants on your tank and on your filter system because these plants also convert ammonia into nitrate and sometimes nitrate into nothing. So that means it is really beneficial to your tank those live plants but still I don't recommend live plants on these um, goldfish and boys because they eat live plants so you have to rely on your filter media you have to rely on your filter system to convert ammonia into nitrate and water change to get all the nitrates out and have your fish healthy and beautiful and happy that is also one reason to have algae in your tank yes it is very beneficial to have algae in your tank because algae is by the way are plants and yes they they take part on the nitrogen cycle they eliminate ammonia and convert them into nitrate and nitrate convert them into nothing else so that you can maintain a good um, chemical um, chemical in your tank but again algae once it overpowers your tank is also harmful to your fish so we talked about beneficial bacteria um, earlier so yes there are types of bacteria there is um, harmful bacteria or the bad bacteria that is responsible for the sickness in your fish that also promotes um, the growth of parasites in your tank and there is also the beneficial bacteria so basically beneficial bacteria live in your biological chambers and they are the ones responsible for 
converting your ammonia into nitrite and into nitrate. That is why they're also called the nitrifying bacteria. And they also live inside your tank. And what they do inside the tank is that they eliminate all the chemicals that causes your tank to be cloudy. Yeah, so they live on, a, on the biological chambers and they also live in your tank. So you don't need to disturb them and reset them um, very often. So that is why some of the people take time to have the nitrogen cycle or what they call the cycling of the tank. They take time in doing so because they want um, a healthy water once they put their fish in. So sometimes they only put a test fish on the tank if it's new so that it can create the nitrogen cycle. It can cycle the tank and once the beneficial bacteria are in there, they put the fish already in there. So I also have to have my um, my tank cycle very effectively. This is called the Nitrobacta. I started using it when we kept poise. Yes, and what they do is they add the beneficial bacteria to your tank so that the tank cycle, so the cycling of the tank will take less time and you start enjoying the view of your fish tanks. And so basically, they are the nitrobacters in your tank or the nitrifying bacteria. That's what nitrobacter. So, to summarize everything, ammonia is very harmful, so you need to convert ammonia into nitrite and nitrite into nitrate and water change to get all the nitrates out and maintain zero of all the three chemicals in your tank. So that's it. Again, I'm John and this is Namjohn TV. For more fish keeping videos, stay tuned. Bye-bye.